Good morning, good morning, good morning, Facebook Live, Facebook World. Good morning, Shady Dale members. Good morning, all of my fellow church hoppers. Um, good morning. It's good to virtually see you this morning, and I am here to um, greet you on behalf of our Shady Dale Church of God here on Trongwood Street in Houston, Texas, and we are glad that you have joined us. And I'm going to be reading the mission statement, the vision statement, and the affirmation of faith, and I will be making some announcements after. The mission statement. Shady Dale Church of God is committed to be a guiding light that draws men, women, and children unto God by sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ and living lives which portray God's will according to his holy word. The vision statements. Con community reform. Seeking to reclaim the village in an effort to provide each individual with a biblical foundation. Spiritual rehabilitation. Providing a Christian-based program to aid in the deliverance from substance abuse. Soul winning crusade. Witnessing to the unsaved so that they may receive salvation that is free. Accept Christ as their Lord and Savior and become heirs to eternal life. Source of refuge, existing as a safe haven for all who need to escape from the ills of the world and experience the peace that surpasses all understanding. An affirmation of faith, repeated Shady Dale members with me and also Facebook Live and also the Facebook Church Hoppers. Repeat this after me. We believe in Jesus Christ the Lord, who was promised to the people of Israel, who came in the flesh to dwell among us, who announced the coming of the rule of God, who gathered disciples and taught them, who died on the cross to free us from sin, who rose from the dead to give us life and hope, who reigns in heaven at the right hand of God, who comes to judge and bring justice to victory. We believe in God, his Father, who raised him from the dead, who created and sustains the universe, who acts to deliver his people in times of need, who desires all men everywhere to be saved. We believe in the Holy Spirit, who is the form of God present in the church, who is the guarantee of our deliverance, who leads us to find God's will in the word, who guides us in discernment, who impels us to act together. I have a few announcements, and the first one is, we join us here on Facebook Live, on, on Facebook, um, next Sunday at 11 a.m. And remember, stay safe and sanitized. And let's, let's pray for our government. Let's pray for the officials. Pray for the nurses and the doctors and the nurses' assistants and the nurses' aides and the home sitters and everyone in the medical field that is on the front line. Um, my mom is on the front line and pray for her as well. Um, she is in the medical field and she is on the front line daily. So pray for her and pray for everyone um, that's in the medical field that is on the front line. Um, and also pray for the construction workers and people that are still um, part of the essential working group. Pray for them. And um, I'm going to go ahead and go to the, the birthdays for March and for April. Um, Brother Jackie Robinson, March 23rd. And Dwayne Williams, March 23rd. April 1st, Miss Linda Greer. April 2nd, Jean Washington. April 4th, brother, um, the late brother um, Nathaniel Alexander. Um, April 4th, Maria Frakes. Um, the late Maria Frakes. And um, uh, April 21st, Alfred St. Jules. And also in March the 13th, um, happy belated heavenly anniversary to David and Maria uh, Frakes. And so if you, if you are celebrating a birthday today, we uh, want to uh, send you a birthday blessing. If you're celebrating an anniversary today, we celebrate your anniversary with you. And if you are newly engaged, 
we celebrate that with you too. So I'm going to go ahead and leave you and I'm going to bring up uh, Pastor Miller, in which he's going to do um, the offering and then he's going to make some um, remarks and um, we'll have another praise and worship song and then the next the next more shoe here will be that of Pastor um, Darius Miller. So give uh, yourself a hand clap in your house and we're getting ready to go on forward. morning. Good afternoon, Shady Dale. It's so good to be with you in this way. And let's have a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you. We thank you for all your goodness today. And we thank you, Lord, that you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and you're our God. Even in times like these, we praise your holy name. We speak blessings, O oh God, over all the church family, all the saints of God everywhere. And men, women, boys, and girls who are, are going through this difficult time, we speak blessings of favor in the name of Jesus. We pray now in the name of Jesus that you will deliver us from this season of the COVID virus. We pray for total healing, total deliverance, and total victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We believe in your power, and you said in your word that if we abide in you and your word abide in us, we can ask what we will, and it shall be done. So we ask you to deliver us and to heal us and to heal this land in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We'll do exceedingly and abundantly above all we ask or think. And we know that, Father, we had the petitions that we come to you for. We come boldly to the throne of grace. We can obtain mercy and find the grace we need to help us in our times of trouble. Bless your people everywhere. We give your name all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, directly to the Chady Hill Church family, it's, it's a blessing to be able to come to you this way and know that your pastor and your first lady is praying for you and praying with you and uh, expecting great, God to do great things in the name of Jesus. And uh, Keep the faith, trust God, and know that uh, trouble don't last always, and soon we should we, we believe that God is going to deliver us and bless us. Continue to pray for the church family. Um, uh, pray for those who are standing in need of a blessing and who want the Lord to come through. Um, we're going to continue on the stay-at-home order following that, and uh, we will not have services here at Shadydale in the meantime on Wednesday nights or on Sunday mornings. Um, I do understand that. Uh, the Shady Dale, um, I do understand on, across the state the governor has made uh, church services an essential um, part of, of our, our community and so uh, so we still want to uh, honor the social dis distancing um, guidelines and, and continue to follow the stay at home but here at, we, we will have we will not have services here at Shady Dale on Sunday mornings or Wednesday nights until we're delivered from this COVID virus. So stay encouraged. Uh, know that your pastor and first lady is praying for you and praying with you. And we're going through the same things. Uh, we, we, we're not allowed to go to work. We're working, staying at home, we're working. And, and uh, so I encourage you to stay encouraged and uh, call one another, pray for one another, text one another. I want to thank uh, those who have been texting and, and in this text group. Sister Dessa Lewis and Sister Angel Williams and Brother Nehemiah and others who are first lady in it as well. And we're going to trust God that he's going to bring us through this time. And we'll see him do great things. And we'll come together in fellowship. And uh, I'm expecting God to bless us very soon. So at this time, is there another song? Okay. So um, we're going to stay encouraged. Be, be Also remember to pray for our city, uh, the mayors, the governors. Uh, local officials who are making decisions um, during this unusual time and um, be praying for our pastor, me as a pastor here and all the pastors around the country who are also going through this um, uh, unimaginable time. Um, you know, we, we couldn't plan for this, but we have a God who can guide us through it. So continue to pray for us and that we make wise choices and wise decisions um, during this coronavirus time. This time we want to have a song and then I'll be back with the word of God for the day. Come on, everybody, say it all together. Welcome into this place, say it. Let both hands to this place. Welcome into this broken place.
God be the glory. Great things he has done. We praise him, we bless him, and we thank him for another opportunity to share from his word today. And we give him thanks and praise for allowing us to be together, uh, even online. We bless the name of the Lord. And so we look to him to bless us and to show us uh, the direction he wants to take as we look afresh in his holy word. And uh, we bless him and praise him for his goodness to us. We know that he is able to direct us and help us in every way. Uh, so uh, I want to share briefly from the word of God today. Um, our scripture lesson is coming from Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7. And it reads, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. New Testament scripture is coming from John chapter 4. John chapter 4, we're going to read verse 39 through 42. John chapter 4, verse 39 says, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with him. And he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. Then they said to the woman, Now we believe, not because of what you said. We ourselves have heard him. And we know that he is indeed the Savior of the world. This morning I read Isaiah chapter 9, verses 6 through 7, and John chapter 4, verses 39 through 42. May the Lord bless the reading and the hearing and the understanding of his word. I want to share with us briefly from the subject. Jesus came for us to stay in his word. Jesus came for us to stay in his word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you for your goodness today. We thank you for this opportunity to share your word. We pray that today, Lord, that we will say something, that we will be a blessing to someone that our lives will be changed and transformed and we will be encouraged to know that you came into this world to turn our lives around. Lord, we give you honor and praise and thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I've been sharing from this passage of scripture through the month of March and I wanted to continue to close out this, this familiar story, the story of the woman at the well. And I believe that God has something to help us with as we continue to seek God's direction for our lives. And, uh, our subject is Jesus came for us to stay in his word. And each time I, I, I give this subject, Jesus came, uh, responding to the, the, the history of, of Women's History Month in the month of March, to remind us that uh, Jesus has a plan for our lives. All of us, whether male or female, young or old, Jesus has a plan for our lives. And he wants us to, to trust his plan. He's been working things out from the very beginning of time. And he wants us to trust his plan for our lives. And he came uh, to turn our lives around. He told us he wanted us to be born again. He said it in John 3, when he talked to Nicodemus at night. He wanted us not to just be here in the earth, but he wanted us to be born again believers. Uh, that our lives will be transformed by faith in him. And in this text, in the book of John, chapter 4, uh, this is the story of the woman at the, well, of the, at the well. And it said that Jesus must go through Samaria. So I want you to know that God has a plan for your life and mine. He wants us to follow that plan. In our Old Testament passage of scripture in, John, in Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, it says, For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government will be upon his shoulder, and his name will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government 
and the peace there will be no end. Upon the throne of David and over his kingdom to order it, establish it with judgment and justice from that time forward, even forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. God has a plan for us. And if we find ourselves in the midst of his plan, he will fulfill the purpose and plan and promise of our lives. We got to trust him. We got to know that he came into the world to turn our lives around. And so, uh, in the text in John chapter 4, I want us to see that this woman, the woman at the well, uh, she was running away from those who uh, would see her life. She was embarrassed. She was ashamed. Uh, she, she avoided the crowds. But yet Jesus had a plan for her life too. And as I said earlier, the text says that he must needs go through Samaria. He wanted to make sure that he touched her life and gave her an opportunity to enter into his kingdom. So there are three things in John chapter 4 this morning as we close out this story. They say that Jesus came for us to stay in his word. Jesus came for us to stay in his word. The first thing I want to say this morning is become a believer by hearing the word. Right now, we're literally in a time uh, unfamiliar to all of us in living memory. Many of us have never been forced to stay home because of a, uh, a pandemic. Uh, we've heard of pandemics before, you know, the swine flu, H1N1. But this is the first time in my lifetime that we have been forced to stay home. And so this text, when I saw the word stay, it reminded me that we're living under a stay-at-home order. And we need to follow those, those guidelines so that uh, our lives can be blessed and we can re fully recover from this virus. Well, spiritually, I want you to know that we need to stay with Jesus Christ. Because there's a virus out here in the world. It's the, you might call it the virus of sin. <laughs> But the Bible says that uh, we were born in sin and shaped in iniquity, in iniquity. And the only way we can escape the virus or the sin sickness is to let Jesus come into our hearts and stay with us. So this morning, I want to say that Jesus came for us to stay in his word. And if we stay in his word, our lives can be transformed. and We can fulfill the plan and destiny that God has for us. So the first thing I want to say in this text this morning is become a believer by hearing his word. The text says in John chapter 4 verse 39, it said, And many of the Samaritans of that city believed in him because of the word of the woman who testified. He told me all that I ever did. See, I want you to know that faith comes by hearing. That's what it says in Roman, uh, Romans 10 and 17. Romans 10, verse 17 says that so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We need to know that uh, we need to become a believer by hearing the word. When we share the word, when we hear the word, we want to become believers. We don't want it just to go from in one ear and out the other. We want to hear the word and believe the word because faith comes by hearing. And these people who heard the testimony of the woman at the well, they believed. And their lives were transformed because Jesus went that way. He came through Samaria to, to, to transform the life of the Samaritan woman. And I want to say he came to transform your life and mine as well. If we would only hear the word. And if we hear the word, I believe our lives will be transformed by hearing the word. The second thing I want to say this morning is, Become a believer by staying in the word. Look at John 4 and verse 40. It says, so when the Samaritans had come to him, they urged him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his own word. See, Jesus came to stay with us. He wants to abide with us. And if we will invite him to our hearts as our Lord and personal Savior, he wants to sup with us and dine with us and dwell with us. And these who heard the word of truth from Jesus' own mouth, 
They wanted him to stay a little longer. And I want us today to learn that lesson from the Samaritans. We would invite Jesus to stay in our hearts. I know we can't stay together as we would like. We literally can't have gatherings more than 10 because of the stay-at-home order. But we see here that they wanted Jesus to stay. So that, that is our reminder this morning that Jesus can be with us no matter where we are. We want Jesus to dwell within us, to stay with us, no matter what we're facing in life. We want Jesus to stay in our hearts, to stay in our lives, to dwell with us, even while we have to be apart from some of our loved ones and friends and coworkers and family members. We want Jesus to stay. We want to stay in his word. And because they stayed in Jesus' word, uh, in Jesus' presence, the word was so rich that they wanted him to stay there. And the text says that he stayed with them two more days. I want us to know that no matter how long our lives are, we want to stay with the word. We want to stay with Jesus Christ. We want his word to abide in us. In John chapter 15, verse 7, it says, If ye abide in me, and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done. Do you want Jesus to do great things in your life? Do you want him to fulfill his plan and purpose for your life? Well, stay in the word. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. And I believe that you can ask God for what you want in your life. And great things will happen for you. I suffered this morning as Jesus came for us to stay in his word. The third thing and the last thing I want to share, to share with you this morning is become convinced for yourself by knowing the word. Become convinced for yourself by knowing the word. Look at verse 42. Then they said to the woman, now we believe not because of what you said, for we ourselves have heard him and we know that he is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. See, I want you to know Jesus for yourself. It is not enough to, hear, to merely hear the word and to study the word, but you need to know the word for yourself, to hide the word in your heart. I believe it says in Psalm 119 that thy word have I hid in my heart <laughs> that I might not sin against you. I want you to know the word for yourself. And as John 1 says, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. I want you to know the word for yourself. Let that word dwell within you richly so that you can fulfill the destiny that God has for your life. See, these believers, they first heard it and believed. And then when they heard it, they wanted to stay with the word. They wanted Jesus to stay with them, to share more of his word so that their lives could be blessed. And then they, not only did they hear the testimony of the Samaritan woman, they were able to testify to her that first we, be we believe because of what you said. <laughs> now we believe because we have heard it for ourselves. And now we know that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. What is your testimony today? Do you know the word for yourself? Do you know the living word? Do you know Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? I'm going to close one of the most familiar passages of Scripture. It is John 3, 16. And it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Today, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want you to know that Jesus came for us to stay in his word. He came that we might believe that he is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing in him, we have life through his name. And if we abide in his word, his word abides in us, we can ask what we will and it shall be done. And then we can know, know his word for ourselves and ultimately know that one day we can have eternal life by believing in his name. Today, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can know him. You can know him for yourself. 
You can know him as your Lord and personal Savior. I want to invite you today to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. To know him for yourself. To know him as Savior and Lord. And maybe you're saying, well, Pastor, I'm already saved. Well, now I want you to spend time in his word. Have you been reading your word while you've been staying at home? <laughs> it's a great time to draw closer to God. The word of God says, if you will draw nigh unto him, he will draw nigh unto you. I want you to abide, to abide in his word. Because faith comes by hearing. And hearing by the word of God. I pray you've been blessed today as we pray together. Why don't we pray? Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your holy name. And we thank you, Father, that we have heard from your word today. And today, if there's anyone who has heard this word and they want to be saved, I pray that they would pray this prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your word. I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ. I ask you to forgive me of all my sins. Come into my heart. Make me a new Christian. Today I accept you as my Lord and Savior. Lord, I thank you for saving me. Now give me eternal life. I accept this eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. I pray, Father, that if there is someone who has heard this word today and they want to draw nigh to you then, and stay in your word, I pray today that they will make that commitment to reading your word and staying in your word. Bless your people today in the name of Jesus Christ. And Father, we love you, we praise you, we bless you, because one day we want to stand before you and hear you say, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over these few things. Now I make you rule over many things. Enter to the joy of thy Lord. Holy Father, that's what we want to hear you say on that great day. Bless your people everywhere. And we give your name honor and thanks and praise. For we ask these blessings in Jesus' name. It's been so good uh, to be with you today. We pray that you've been blessed um, by this worship experience. And we pray that you are encouraged as we fellowship together online. This is First Lady and I, we, we thank God for you joining us online today. And we hope that you've been blessed uh, from our experience together. We have a word, First Lady. We want you all to, oh, my, why am I talking in the first <laughs> We, we want you all to, to join us again. We want to thank everyone that uh, stopped by. You, uh, you were uh, Facebook church hopping today. I was too. I went up to about six or seven churches today on Facebook. So, I mean, airfare is free. You can go anywhere in the world you want to. So, Amen. Um, if you want to be part of the Face Hopper church group, the church Facebook church hopper group, come on and join us. So, we want to see you here next week on Resurrection Sunday. Um, be blessed again to continue following the ordinance of the, the government, uh, the, the mayor, the president. Keep um, just keep make sure you're following the six feet rule and not congregating um, as uh, with the, the numbers that we're not supposed to congregate with. And we appreciate you all for joining. And uh, let us know how this has helped you. You can send the church an email, you can inbox us. If you have our numbers, you can text us, call us. So we're not social distancing from calling or texting or inboxing. We're just social distancing physically. So, and aren't you glad that we are, that God is not socially distant from us? Mm -hmm. That'll preach in church too. Mm -hmm. So as long as we, we know that God is not socially distant from us, but are we socially distant from him? Do we only come, I don't want to preach another sermon, but that's a good sermon though, we're not going to start. So um, we want to see you all next time. Tell someone about um, Shady Dale. Um, if they want to be a Facebook church hopper, they can too. It can be YouTube church hopping. You can do YouTube church hopping too or whatever ever else they stream videos or live videos. So we want to thank you all for uh, joining us this morning. Amen. Let's dismiss. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name. Now may the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of God, the communion of the Holy Spirit, may it rest, rule and abide within us now and forevermore. Let's all say amen. Amen. God bless you until next time.